thank you so much. Thanks for coming to our presentation. Uh, delighted to be here. A um, little bit about ISTO Technologies. We are a regenerative uh, uh, medicine company, mainly focused on cell-based therapy for cartilage regeneration. Um, we believe our technology is uh, <clears throat> provide cost-effective, uh, scalable, uh, <clears throat> and, and we also have a, now out of that technology two products in latest stage clinical trials. A very addressing very large market and uh, multi-billion uh, dollar opportunities. In addition to our cell-based technologies, we also have uh, a biosynthetic bone uh, regeneration product that currently is in the market and uh, generating revenue for the company. Um, here are the, the, the three products I'm gonna focus today on a cell-based cartilage regeneration. The top one is a RevoFlex. Revo is the uh, is the scaffold free? The picture is shown uh, in here. Oops, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, in here, it is uh, almost like a very large contact lens. Uh, we actually grow a piece of cartilage in our manufacturing suite. It's articular cartilage. It's an entering phase three trial. Then we have new Q is a or minimal invasive uh, cell-based cartilage regeneration product for people with a degenerative back pain. Is in, we just f finished the recently enrollment in phase two trial. And then again, uh, last but not least, our bone grafting product here is called INQ. It's already cleared by FDA. It's in the market uh, uh, and mainly focused in the spinal fusion application. All right, what is special about what we bring to the table? Uh, you look at here, uh, as you and I damage our cartilage, typically it doesn't no normally heal uh, by itself. Whereas a young, uh, a young, very young, what we call juvenile, tend to repair and regenerate cartilage much, much better. So our, our focus is on getting cells that come from juvenile uh, uh, juvenile tissue, so that our donors are uh, typically uh, less than uh, one or two years old. Uh, we also, I, I also want to mention the cartilage is immune privilege. So we work with allogeneic as a source of the product because we bring it has many advantages over autologous technology, which I will touch back, uh, base later on. Um, the once we get the cells, one advantage with allogenic is that you can actually expand. We create what we call a cell bank. Uh, we go from few million cells to several billion cells, uh, and we are able, for example, from a single donor cell, generate enough, expand enough cells, and ultimately be able to grow a piece of cartilage uh, for grafting uh, as many as three to 5,000 doses of a car cartilage graft comes out from a single donor for implantation, as, 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 as is the case for the RevoFlex for the knee project. Or, uh, uh, or we can also go after a project like a disc, disc here. Uh, the, the advantage, again, with the, with the allogenic is that you creating a platform technology that you can address multiple clinical uh, applications that you cannot do that with autologous technologies. Um, market opportunity-wise is huge. Just focus on the, the new project. There's over two and a half million arthroscopies done uh, every year. Uh, I won't get into detail or interest of time, but what we, we, are, we believe our target market is roughly about 257 to roughly 300,000, which is growing at 5,000, excuse me, 5% 5 a year. Uh, and for, for majority of these uh, cases that we are targeting, by the way, microfracture is the gold standard, uh, which we know now that it only lasts mm, roughly about 18 months or two years. Uh, so it, it is a multi-billion dollar market for the uh, RevoFlex opportunity for us. Uh, here's a sample uh, how the product is being used. So we are the only company, to the best of my knowledge, can actually grow 
free cartilage. And the advantage of the scaffold free is really we believe in integration of the product, the cartilage that we grow with the surrounding tissue. Uh, so here is the uh, graft put it in uh, post implantation. As I said, it's almost like a contact lens the surgeon's cut and paste. You looking through arthroscopy and is a sample of biopsy. It is a hyaline functional cartilage. It's a hyaline functional cartilage to begin with when we graft the product and it stays that way uh, throughout. Uh, some of the data now we have a five year follow up from this phase one, phase two data, and you can see that the product not only works, but it's stable at least through a five years of period. Uh, these are statistically significant in a coup scale. And more importantly, uh, the, this excellent safety uh, uh, data from these this, this uh, from these patients. Uh, we have not seen any adverse event at all. Uh, you look at the MRI, what, what we see with the Rivoflex, compare that, for example, with the macrofracture, which is published, you see significant improvement over macrofracture. There is no poor, poor outcome with our product, whereas you see about 40% of the macrofracture essentially fails uh, at, at, at 36 months. Um, here is again summary advantage of what we bring to the table versus the, those uh, who focus on autologous. There are a number of advantages here. First of all, we work with juvenile. We know there are better cells in terms of repair and regeneration. Uh, we, work, we have a product is a hyaline cartilage to start with. It stays hyaline cartilage when we implant. Uh, we can ship it at room temperature. Scalable, and, and really this is a really big thing for the company. Is a scalable cost of goods is significantly, significantly lower than those that work with autologous technologies. Um, now we are we are in the, in, it's just about to start phase three trial this year. Uh, uh, we expect to com uh, commence the enrollment in mid 2014. Uh, it's a randomized. Uh, um, a trial, and then we'll be roughly in 2025 side in the United States. Uh, let me just touch base on our degenerative disc project. This is a uh, uh, cell based using the same cell, cells that we grow cartilage, except now we're injecting these cells under 2D fluoroscopy. Surgeons injected into degenerative disc for, for people with a, uh, what we call a discogenic back pain. Uh, we estimate roughly half a million of those are run uh, that are targeted uh, uh, market opportunity for, the, for us. Uh, we finished the phase one. I have a little bit of data on the phase one. We actually are, uh, as I said, finished enrollment into phase two as well. Uh, so it is uh, 15 patients was done for safety, but will be also a significant improvement in, uh, in function as well as the pain uh, in this patient. And again, excellent safety profile as we follow this patient now through uh, two years. And just show you some data here. It's the pain data. What's interesting that the pain goes down uh, quickly but uh, actually improves over time. It keeps getting better. Uh, and the same is true with a functional in, while you see significant improvement right away, but uh, in early as uh, one month, but continue to improve over up to 24, 24 months. We soon hopefully have a three months data with this patient as well. Uh, again, we now finished the uh, enrollment into four, uh, a randomized double blind 44 patient studies. Um, enrollment is completed in October. We expect to be able to announce the data from phase two data in the early next year, one year with one year follow-up. Uh, a little bit about our product, the regenerative product for bone regeneration is a scaffold, uh, a biosynthetic bone grafting. Uh, it's very different than what you normally see other companies uh, in the, have in the market. Ours is a polymer with hyaluronic acid. Uh, is entangled what we call a polymer with hyaluronic acid. So it's very 
unique uh, bone grafting material. And uh, the excitement part is the hyaluronic. We managed to integrate hyaluronic with the polymer. And to date, we are actually close to 30,000 patients treated with this product with no uh, infra inflammation or osteolysis that you normally see with some of the growth factor product in the market. So it's incredibly safe. And let me just show you uh, here, uh, the market opportunity is very significant. There are a number of other products in the market where we think we have something that is very special, very unique, differentiated re re relative to other products in the market. Uh, we offer cost-effective um, and very attractive biology relative to other synthetic products in the market. Uh, in just a sample uh, of, a, uh, of the data sample, a retrospective albeit, but you look at the one level, two level, and three level fusion in the back, this product is used as a bone grafting material. Uh, we have over 90% fusion. It's what you normally see with a product like Infuse, except much lower cost, except uh, much better safety data with this product. Um, and I believe this, my last slide summarizes that we are a regenerative uh, uh, company with the multiple products, uh, uh, either in a late stage clinical trial or in the market. We are unique in that, in that regard. We, uh, we have um, our two late stage cell based therapy products, Rivoflex, uh, is entering phase three. Uh, new Q for degenerative disc, we're uh, wrapping up a phase two trial. And then we have, a, of course, uh, unique in the sense that we also have revenue uh, is growing double digit every year uh, with our biosynthetic bone regeneration product. Uh, so we have a, a very, very exciting uh, product in the clinical trial with a multi-billion dollar opportunity. Uh, and, and then we have a very strong, of course, IP uh, and patent position for all of these products that today I talked about. Thank you very much.